Okay, so I was asked to make a modified version of this where there are pitfalls, and if the ball rolls through the hole, then the level resets, or maybe you even have to go back like five levels or something like that. So this is actually pretty straightforward. What I did is I made an object in an external program. So whereas these, I used objects from within Unity. I went up to game object and I used uh, um, 3D object and then cube, if I recall correctly. There's no great way to punch a hole in a solid object in uh, Unity. You basically have to line a whole bunch of objects up and leave a space in between. Having said that, you can create an object externally, such as in Blender, and that's what I did, and import it in. So that's what this is. So let's drag and drop this into the scene. As you can see, the size is just about right. And you can see there is a hole right there. So right now, this object does not have any colliders, okay? So when if you click in on the asset itself, this basically just gives you some import settings. We're not going to worry about any of those at the moment. So the problem is everything is attached to this platform, and we need to make it attached to this one. So what we can do is we can left click on all these cubes in the goal and drag and drop them and put it onto the new platform we take this platform and let's take a look at a few things we're not going to do the material because for some reason there's something not right about the object i can't seem to get the materials to work but that's fine this is just demonstrating how to use a pitfall so we need to add a rigid body, we need to add a box collider, and we need to add the tilt script. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to add the tilt script to the new platform object. We're going to add physics, and we said it needs a rigid body. And we said that it also needs a box collider. Only problem is it's actually going to need multiple box colliders because you're going to do one along, uh, basically from this line down, then another box collider here, here, and here. So basically you're going to make a bunch of box colliders around the hole, and then it'll just drop through the hole. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, let's do that. So let's add the box collider. So add physics box collider. And it's really tough to see because it's white. So let's just add a basic color. So we'll create material and we'll just call it um, black matte. Click on it. Choose the color, make like a dark gray black, and we'll drag that onto the platform. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to add the box colliders. So, okay, so we have the box collider here, we edit it. You can see it's this little square in the middle. So let's go ahead and change the size. Looks like it needs to be like five. Nope, needs to be even more than that. About 10. Looks basically right in the money. Now for Z. That brings us right to the edge. That's good. So now we want to grab this little point here and manually drag this out because I'm never going to get it right trying to uh, just manually put in the numbers. Okay, so now we need another box collider. And 
and this one it needs to be moved up so center two three five eh, it's a little bit off but that's okay we're gonna manually modify it actually i think we can start doing that now so edit box collider we can zoom in a little bit like one there it's hard to see but it is there let's take a look to see if this is too high It looks like it. Yeah, you can see here. It looks like the collider is too high. So I believe that is the Y. So let's do 0 0.8, 0 0.7. No, it's 0.8 again. 0.6. Looks like 0.7 is about right. Because even though the object looks like this, collision is based on the collider box. So if the collider box is too high, then the ball will actually be above the graphic. It will be above the image uh, of the um, platform. All right, so what we need to do is we need to add a couple more. So physics, box collider. go looks like one's almost right let's do like 1.2 and we said so this should be about four edit just drag that over Drag that over. And again, we said this should be like 0.7. Drag this over. And then we add one more. And let's use similar. We want the we want a positive two, not a negative. There we go, and we can move this up, move that over, move that over, move that over, bring this down again to 0.7, and so now you've created box colliders all around it. So really the last thing you need to do is put one more box collider in here. And that way, if it rolls into it, then something else entirely different happens. So none of these are triggers because you want this these box colliders to support the ball. Whereas this one, you want a trigger. So add component, physics, box collider is a trigger. that out okay the box colliders don't have to be exactly lined up simply because the ball is much larger than the colliders and uh, so it's like impossible for it to touch just that area actually let's make this one lower since we want it to kind of like fall through the hole first we can actually make the center a little bit lower too. Okay. I'm trying to delete the platform last because I want to make sure that everything's working before I delete it. Okay. So let's delete the platform now. Let's see if 
everything works. Okay, a couple of things. So the platform itself dropped. So we need to get rid of gravity. Still drop though. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the platform and see what we missed. So, oh, rigid body doesn't need to be. It is is kinematic. Okay, so we delete that. We make the rigid body kinematic. Oh, oh, that's right. We undid that. Okay, so use gravity is unchecked. Is kin kinematic is checked. Okay, so far so good. Okay, control works, and it can drop through the hole. So now we just need to add uh, an extra line of code to handle that. So to add that code, we need to open up the corresponding script, which is tilt, because tilt is attached to the platform object. So let's go ahead and open up tilt. Zoom in a little bit. And what we're going to do is we need to add a new section. It needs to be outside of start. It needs to be outside of update. It's looking for a collision. So it's going to be on trigger enter. Now, it won't impact these because these are not triggers. It will only impact this one, which is right there. So, void on trigger enter. And it's very important to note that, first of all, I put this in the wrong place. I said to put it outside of update, and then promptly I put it inside of update. So it has to be, like I said, outside of that. If you're ever not sure, click on the squiggly bracket to see where the corresponding bracket is. So I'd, I'd put void in here, so clearly it was inside of void update. So void on trigger enter. Is it collider, other? Trying to remember, I have it coded this in a little bit. On trigger, enter, collider, other. And since it's the only trigger, I probably don't have to check for the name of the ball. But what we do is we'll reset the scene if it collides with it. Now, the only problem is we need to add an extra line here for scene manager because by default, it's not using scene manager. So on. So using system dot how is it unity engine dot there you go scene management and then if I can get the code right it should be Scene manager dot load scene and the name of the scene is just level one. Lowercase uppercase. Lowercase. But for that to work, you have to go into the build settings, which I don't know if we did yet. So file. Build settings, yeah, level one is there. So I think that should about do it. So if the oh, 
Okay, broke something there. Oh, I'm wondering if uh, one of the collision is breaking it. So I said I wasn't going to check for names. So if other dot name equals equals sphere with a capital S because we're checking to see if this object is colliding with it. So one thing I can think of why it um, why it was jittery like that because it was basically resetting with every frame. So now only if there's a collision. My guess is the collider in here was probably butting against the other collider. So even though I tried to avoid them, there might have still been a collision there. There we go. So there you go. It now works. That if the hole, if the ball goes into the hole there, it collides with the uh, box collider and resets the level. And it's just a matter of how many levels you want to go back. If you're on level 10, you want to send them back five levels, then you'd modify this. So that should about do it.